Hi everyone, this is Michelle Taberge and I wanted to make a quick response to a comment I got recently here on YouTube and I haven't made a video in a long time so I'm just making this really quickly. If you want to know where I've been, I'll get to that at the end for those who want to know what's going on in my personal life. But for those of you who came to find out, will I give you feedback on your work? So I got a comment recently and I was very honored when someone asked me to uh, look at their work and give them feedback. Um, it, it is a real honor to me that um, that you value my opinion and that you want it. And the whole purpose of this channel is to support you in your creative endeavors. So I do that by making tutorial videos. I do that by showing my own process in my studio. I do that by just giving general advice to people who are pursuing art uh, more professionally and on the just speaking about one of my favorite topics which is the creative process so would i give you feedback on your work well there are several reasons um why i don't do that if you were in a class with me that would be an appropriate setting because i would know who you are i would understand your background where you've come what i've taught you i would be able to look at your work I'll be able to look at your work as an arc and not just as an individual painting. Um, there's so many things to this, but more importantly, the reason I don't do that in this context, and this was on social media, the person sent me, um, they said they sent me some work on Instagram, which I also haven't been on social media. You may have noticed recently, and I'll, I'll tell you why later. But um, first and foremost, whether you whether your work is worthwhile or whether it's worth pursuing is so not up to me it's you you your creativity your time is valuable if you feel this in your heart to do it then do it it's not about how good it is basically if you want to be good at art you just have to do a lot of it and just keep going and it may take you years but if you love it you'll keep with it so Please do not look to outside experts. There are people, I've heard so many stories, read things in books and autobiographies of artists of um, early teachers who told, you know, um, a developing artist that they didn't have any talent or they wouldn't amount to anything, um, which I just think is a bunch of BS. <laughs> um, it's really irrelevant. What my goal is as a teacher and has always been is to make myself obsolete, is to make your connection to your own opinion and your own sense of worth and value so strong that what anyone else thinks is completely irrelevant. And that's been my own path. And I know when you're young or if you're just starting out and you're not that experienced with art or you don't know that much about art, it can be difficult because you do have those doubts. Is this worth anything? Is this worth pursuing? But I would always go inward and say, did you enjoy it? Do you enjoy doing this? Does it give you joy? Does it give you satisfaction? What your parents think, what your spouse think, what your friends think is completely irrelevant and what I think is irrelevant. Now, as far as people who want feedback on work, I am not able to do that in the context, you know, first of all, I get a lot of comments and a lot of people, um, so I don't have time to do that, but also I would really highly encourage you to seek out a local teacher who you respect, um, their teaching style, their work perhaps, or it might feel challenging or strange to you. Um, sometimes when you're new to art and you haven't been exposed to the whole broad range of what's going on in the contemporary art world, stuff can look a little weird to you <laughs> when you first see it, but keep an open mind. Even if, um, I had another comment recently where someone you know, their teacher said not to follow Bob Ross or whatever. And um, Bob Ross is often sort of like, <laughs> I'll call it a gateway drug <laughs> to making art. And that's great. If you like Bob, his beautiful presence, I mean, just, you know, people watch him just to watch him because of his calm, you know, soft-spoken demeanor and stuff. But once you get further into art, there's just a huge range of flavors and tastes and styles available to you. So keep an open mind on that. 
So I'm, I got a little bit further <laughs> than just will I comment on your work. I will comment for uh, just a global comment like thumbs up, thumbs up for doing it. Thumbs up for taking the time. Thumbs up for honoring your creativity and your creative voice. You, the thing is, it's completely unique. There's no one who can make art just like you can. Thumbs up for putting creative, for putting goodness into the world, for doing something productive with your time. And anyway, if you have more comments on this, let's keep the conversation going because I'm really passionate about this. If you have, um, further comments or a rebuttal or whatever I want to hear you like or don't like just just please feel free to comment below but mostly I just want to encourage you all of you sometimes we just need a little boost that please keep making your work as long as you are enjoying it and it's challenging you or satisfying to you sometimes it's not always easy sometimes it's not always enjoyable but you don't need my rubber stamp of approval and you don't need anyone else's it's all about you and your work. Thanks for watching. And um, I never have done this before, but everyone else does. It's like, hey, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, so I mentioned that I would explain why you haven't heard from me. So some of you know who are um, subscribed to the Mindful Artist newsletter that I put out every month, sometimes more often. Um, that my mother passed this year. So I've been grieving, I've been mourning, I've been just needing to keep things really simple. I've been working on some commissions for um, a hospital, some painting commissions. So I've been, I've just been sort of busy with my own projects and then also needing to really be quiet, go inward. Um, I've obviously been really sad. Um, so just anyone who's been through the loss of a parent or a close loved one will understand. Um, you don't have as much energy. I haven't felt like being very public. Um, I kind of totally dropped off of Facebook. Um, I haven't even felt like doing Instagram recently. And um, anyway, but I, I'm coming out of it and I, I do feel it bubbling in me to do more with YouTube. In fact, I'm looking for some people to help with editing and production and stuff since, you know, guys, and I'm not very good at this. I'm just doing this on my iPhone. Um, anyway, so um, thank you guys so much for subscribing, for supporting this channel. You know how much um, our connection means to me and it's just a joy. Sorry about all the noise. There's a kitten. I just have to show you guys. Hopefully I'll give you a little, where are you kitten? Ah, I can't get her in here. Kitten, there she is. New kitten, say hi Claudette. Dis bonjour Claudette. She's such a cutie pie. Anyway, I love her so much. She's brought a lot of joy to me in the recent months. All right, take care. All best to you.